Hey guys, if you're looking for how you can run Python programs in your favorite Visual Studio code, then you are in the right place. Watch this video until the end because I'm about to show you step-by-step -step process to configure Visual Studio code for running Python programs correctly. And I'm also gonna show you how you can run basic Python program in Visual Studio code on a Mac machine. So without further ado, let's get started. Firstly, we have need to download and install the latest version of Python. To download it, first of all, copy this link. I have provided this link in the video description. Now open up your favorite web browser. I am using Google Chrome here. Then paste the copied link into the search bar and hit enter. This is the official page for downloading latest version of Python for Mac OS. Now click on this big yellow download button and now you can see our python installer package file is started downloading here. Our python installer package file is downloaded successfully. Click on this up arrow and select show in finder. We need to install this file. Simply double click on this file and it will start the setup wizard. Let me close all other windows so that we can focus on installation part. It says welcome to the python installer and this package will install python for mac os. Click on continue button. Click on continue button again. To accept the license agreement, click on agree button. Make sure you have at least 119 MB of free disk space available. And click on install button. Enter your Mac password here. And click on install software button. This will start the installation process. It will take some time to install. And it's done. See, congratulations, Python for Mac OS successful message is printed here. Now we can click on close button. We don't need this package file anymore, click on move to trash button. Good job. Now let's check Python is working or not. Open a terminal by pressing command plus space and write terminal in the search bar and hit enter. Here type python 3 and press enter. As you can see, we have the latest python version installed here. Congratulations, you have successfully installed python on your mac machine correctly. Now open the visual studio code by pressing command plus space and write visual studio code and hit enter. If you don't have a Visual Studio code, then you can watch this video to download and install Visual Studio code on your Mac. I have provided the link in the video description. Ok, now let's configure Visual Studio code for running Python program. For that, firstly, we need to install Python extension in the Visual Studio code. Press this button and in the search bar, type Python. and select the first option. Make sure it is from Microsoft and press on this small install button. It will install python debugging and code formatting support. Wait for it to install. And it's all done here. Now. Let's write some basic python program in Visual Studio code for testing. Create a new file by pressing command plus n and click on file and select save as. Give a name to your file. I'm writing subscribe.py. Just make sure you don't forget to add .py extension at the end of the file, otherwise it won't work. Choose your preferred directory, I am selecting desktop here and then click on save button. 
allow VS Code to access desktop folder. The first time when we save a Python program, then VS Code automatically showing Python Get Started Guide and several pop-up will appear asking you to install required build assets. It says linter py lint is not installed. Click on install button. And here click on select python interpreter. Now select python 3.9.0 64-bit. Again click on install button and it will download and install python linter. It will take some time to complete. And it's done. Let me close these windows. So now we are ready to code our first python program. Let's quickly type a basic python program that prints subscribe now. Type print double quotes Subscribe now. To run the program, simply click on this small play button. And it works. See, subscribe now is printed here. If you followed the steps in this video and reach until here, I am assuming this method has been working for you. So I am requesting you please like the video and subscribe to my channel. It won't cost you anything but it will definitely boost my morale for making more such videos. So this is how you can run python program in Visual Studio Code. If you are interested in learning more about python language then be sure to check out our beginners python programming course at the first link in the description. Subscribe and turn on the notifications so you don't miss more videos helping you to learn how to code and become a successful programmer and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.